Wake up everybody, we got stuff to do. Welcome back to Rusty Wrench Repair. Well, we're gonna start getting this transmission cleaned up. Well, the innards of this transmission cleaned up and put back together. Um, figured a lot of stuff out. I do wanna say a big thank you to Ruzo's transmission in uh, Youngstown. Helped me out a ton. Gave me a lot of tips on putting this thing back together. Helped me find the snap ring that was broke for the uh, output shaft. Um, also put me in truck well put me in touch with a place over in New Jersey called Fatsco Transmission. Big thank you to them as well. Um, Robert, I do believe his name was, and it's Lou at Lou at Ruzo's and Robert at Fatsco Transmissions in New Jersey. Uh, both great guys helped me out. And guess what guys? I found the transmission mount for this thing. It's actually two mounts. Um, this is the bracket. And then these are the mounts. And these are what's bad. As you can see, this one's separated. Um, <clears throat> he was able to get me those. Uh, I'm not being paid to shout out these guys or anything like that. Just wanted to tell them, you know, give them a big thank you. Uh, I appreciate Lou's help and Robert. Um, exciting to find parts to be able to put this thing back together. It was something I was pretty worried about. I mean, I could have probably figured something out for that mount, but uh, this way I don't have to. Also, figured out what those needle bearings and shrapnel were that came out. They did not come from the case. Originally, when I described it to Lou, he thought maybe it was a Torrington bearing, which there are two, I believe, in here. Um, <clears throat> but as soon as he seen it, he knew that's not what it was, and the Torrington bearings that came out of here were fine. Um, they're just little flat, almost like washers put together with needle bearings in them, and they were okay. Um, he started looking at it, and he said, those look like the bearings or a bearing out of the nose cone of a starter. And I was like, oh my goodness, you're right. So I came back home, looked at the starter, and this one is fine. Um, it was obviously replaced, but they were definitely the nose cone bearing. It was the nose cone bearing out of a starter. And we found more debris in the case. Um, in here, where the starter mounts, um, I'll show you. Ouch, that didn't feel good. There's this crevice right here and that's where that's where that bearing was holed up and when I tipped the case up they fell out and I thought that you know they came out of the case but whoo all good uh, everything else other than the forward clutches in this transmission look fine <coughs> just needs cleaned up and uh, all the clutches and plates. While the plates need cleaned up, I got new plates. Um, the pressure plates look okay. Just need cleaned up and we're gonna flip them. Um, gonna clean the throttle body. He gave me some other tips on putting this thing back together and uh, huge help. So I appreciate him as well for that. So, um, we're gonna get this thing cleaned up. Uh, I'm gonna work really, really fast and get the valve body cleaned up and then start getting the clutches and everything separated. Um, kinda got a late start today. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get as much done as I can. Then we're going to uh, Thanksgiving dinner with uh, some family. It is Saturday, um, but you know, some of my family works. Um, I have family in law enforcement and a lot of my wife is a nurse and um, her cousin is a nurse and typically they work the holidays as well but uh, my sister-in-law or my wife's sister is a um, is law enforcement and I believe she had to work on Thanksgiving so she's having her Thanksgiving today so I get Thanksgiving dinner twice which is awesome uh, you know, I don't know why I would be so excited about food, but I am. So, all right, I'm going to work really fast, get this throttle or throttle body, valve body cleaned up and put back together. 
and then uh, you know over here we got a box of clutches and drums and pistons and <sighs> yeah it'll all go back together hopefully all right here we go underestimated what it takes to rebuild a transmission yep um, or you know to do it to do it right and to do it to my standard I guess um, as you can see I got the valve body uh, tore apart and to be honest with you you know you hear people talk about shift kits and this and that and they're like oh okay and i know nothing about transmission so uh well learning has happened and i've decided that i am going to get a shift kit um not anything crazy just uh just really a an uh overhaul kit or you know refresh kit whatever you want to call it just something you know to replace the springs and <clears throat> uh, i am going to replace this valve um which was not fun to get out of there uh but you know i do apologize for this is probably gonna be a couple videos. Um, I have been doing stuff off camera, like taking, you know, cleaning stuff up and <coughs> um, uh, the rest of the transmission, getting it cleaned up and put back together and, and stuff like that. Obviously I haven't put it back together yet, but um, <coughs> just, it's a lot. Um, you know, there's a lot to transmissions, especially. Look guys, I'm learning, uh, you know, I, don't this is my first transmission and you know i i'm learning as i go and i hope that you guys take away something from this um if you decide to do your for your first transmission or you know whatever the case is um if they intimidate you there's a lot of stuff out there that can help you every step of the way to put it back together you know there's manuals there's diagrams there's videos on youtube um of people a lot smarter with transmissions than I am uh, showing you step by step how to do it so don't be intimidated by it if you got something that you want to do uh, and it, it's scaring you and you don't want to do it <clears throat> I'm just a regular guy uh, yeah I was a mechanic for a long time and I, I am I guess what you would call mechanically inclined but honestly if you <clears throat> if you have the the motivation to do it uh don't don't let it scare you um i still hope that this goes back together and works the way that it's supposed to i do have a little bit of anxiety about that but you know it is what it is um 
uh, it's a learning experience. I love to learn new things. It's just prepare yourself, especially if you don't have full days that you can spend on this stuff. Prepare yourself for what's going to be a long process, uh, especially for your first one, um, if you're learning and, and trying to figure it out. So I do appreciate you guys watching. I do apologize for this scattered video uh, on this transmission, but uh, like I said, I'm learning and I hope that you guys learn something from it too. Uh, we will be going step by step on how to put this valve body back together once I do get the shift kit. And then, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm probably not going to go step by step how to put everything together because there's so many videos out there um, on transmissions, uh, especially the C6. There's lots of videos on it. Um, this is really just me sharing with you guys what I'm doing, um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I do appreciate your support, and those of you that continue to watch. Uh, sorry for all my ranting and talking uh, towards the end of this video, uh, but thank you guys very much. Um, things, I promise, are going to get more exciting as we go. Um, I have some things planned. Um, uh, they haven't come to fruition yet, but they will. Uh, and things are going to get a lot better. Uh, I just want, you know, want you guys to bear with me and, and uh, know that I'm working really hard at this. And, and I appreciate your guys' support. So uh, if you haven't already, hit the like button, leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. What are you waiting for? Um, but other than that, guys, I appreciate you guys. Always remember, if you're sitting around, so is your project. Uh, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.